So in my last video, I showed how to use the blend texture. Actually, I need to duplicate this layer first. Uh, so just to quickly recap the first video. If I swap the textures of these two layers, because they're duplicated, they both get swapped. So I'm going to swap this back to what I wanted originally. And then on this layer, this is what we covered in the first video. Using the blend texture, you can point to a new texture and have it replace. This works like a clipping mask in Photoshop. This second texture cannot go outside of the bounds of the first texture. So the outline of these two images has to match exactly, and their position on the canvas has to also match exactly. If it doesn't, if I point it to a different texture, like Bolin here, you'll see it just places him where it would place him in that canvas, and it is offset, and it doesn't align, and the parts that aren't covered by Korra get uh, erased, essentially. So that doesn't work at all. So just so we can tell them apart, I'm going to add a shake to this one. I'm not going to do anything with it. So there's a shake on this effect, or on this layer, and a blend on this layer. So what we need to do is save to update our JSON file, and then go edit, open in Explorer, and that will bring up this window. Uh, this is our project files, open the scene.json, and we're going to control F to search, and we are looking for Cora normal.json. And we found uh, this block of text, which is our, you can tell them apart because the effects on a layer go directly above the layer block themselves. So this is shake effect above Cora normal. So that's this layer. They're also, they should also be in order of your layer list. But so we have a shake effect Cora normal, that is the top layer. And we have blend effect Cora normal, which is the second layer. So I'm going to change the blend effect Cora normal to Bolin 2 which just happens to be the texture name that I gave that image. And we'll call it Bolin. And we go File, Save. Close out of that. And nothing happened because we have to reload the project. So when I reload, the Bolin with the blend texture Bolin is now Bolin. So that's how you change the image model path in order to actually change the base texture instead of just using the blend texture. So if your images match exactly, like these two Koras, you can just blend texture. If they don't match exactly, like these two images, you would need to go into the JSON file and swap the texture path. Um, I think that's it. So I hope that helps. I thought it was kind of important, and I didn't cover it in the first video, but... Uh, the first video only works if your images are identical. This is the other way to do it.